True or false, arthritis is a disease of the elderly? Wow, that is correct, that is false. Uh, and if you look at this slide right here, you can see that almost 50% of patients that have arthritis are less than 65 years old. And even if you are between 18 and 44 years old, you have a well, probably 16% chance of developing arthritis. And unfortunately, as in so many things in medicine, women have to carry the burden of this and they are slightly have higher incidence of developing arthritis. True or false, aching joints are common symptoms of arthritis. That is true. That's why patients come and see us. They say, my knee hurts, my hip hurts, my shoulder hurts, my ankle hurts. So that is probably one of the first symptoms that a patient will seek medical treatment when they have arthritis. True or false, people with arthritis must learn to live with aching joints. I certainly hope so. I think we've talked a lot about today what you can do to, uh, to help you with these symptoms. So uh, please seek medical care if you have aching joints. True or false, some people just wake up one morning and have a painful arthritis uh, painful arthritis in the knee or hip. Actually, that is true. Yes. And that is frequently we see patients come to our clinic and they say, well, you know, my knee has been hurting for about a week. And then I tell them that their bone look, they're bone on bone on their x-ray. And they say, well, you know, they didn't become bone on bone in a week, so why didn't they hurt before? Well, part of arthritis is an inflammatory process, and it's the inflammation that really causes the pain. And sometimes the grandkids were over and they jumped on your knee and they caused some of that increased inflammation. It was funny, after Hurricane Ike, we saw quite a few people come in with aching joints. And I think the cleanup of the hurricane, people sort of overused their joints and then they developed the symptoms of arthritis, even though they've had arthritis for quite some time. How many Americans have arthritis? A, B, C, D, or E? E, D, C. So we got C's and D's. It's funny, when, when I first gave a talk to the community, the correct answer, which was about 10 years ago, the correct answer was C. Today, the correct answer is D. It's more than 50 million. And when you look at the burden of arthritis, it's the leading cause of disability in the United States. And in 1998, there was 43 million people that had some condition related to arthritis. And it is estimated to climb to over 60 million in 2020 because of our baby boomers getting to that age where they have arthritis. That's an almost 20% of the population. Talking about job security, huh? <laughs> Nowadays, that's, for us, that's a good thing. And here's the graph that shows that. You can see on the left, there is a 40% back in the 90s, early 90s, and it's predict, projected to be almost 60 million by the year 2020. Arthritis is the leading cause of disability in the United States. It's limiting the everyday activities of more than 7 excuse me, million Americans. Arthritis results in 44 million outpatient visits and 650,000 hospitalizations. So it's a tremendous burden to our society. And it's a prevailing myth I have portrayed that arthritis is an inevitable part of aging that can only be endured. And that is just not true. What do you need to do if you have arthritis? What are some of the effective interventions available? I think first, and Dr. Sibangi made that point very well, we have to make a diagnosis. So if you have an aching joint, go see your family practice doctor or your internist or whoever you feel comfortable to go see and let's make a diagnosis first. Once you've made the diagnosis or the diagnosis was made that you have arthritis, then you need to have appropriate management. Activity modification is very good. I'm not an advocate for you crawling up on a tree and hanging out, but you got to use common sense on what kind of activities you should do. It's probably not a good idea to jump out of airplanes and run marathons, but there's a lot of good activities that people can do with osteoarthritis. Weight control is very, very important. There's evidence to show that for every one pound that you lose, you decrease four pounds across your knee joint. Now, in today's economy, how many times do you get a four-for-one deal? Not very often. So I encourage you to even lose just 10 pounds will be 40 pounds less across your knee joint, which can give you a significant amount of relief. Physical activity is important. Get an exercise bicycle, get in the pool, do things that you can do with your joint. Maybe it's even worth seeing a physical therapist so they can properly train you what you should do for your joints in order to improve your strength and minimize your symptoms. 
Tai Chi is, a, is a, a wonderful type of exercise that has shown to be very successful in relieving symptoms with people that have arthritis. And then medical treatment. Start out with a leaf, extra shank Tylenol, maybe some stronger medicines after that. And once all that fails, maybe at that time you, you may want to consider seeing a surgeon to see whether you're a, a candidate for some type of joint replacement surgery. Where does the word arthritis come from? It comes from like so many words from the Greek. And it's the word arthron, which means joint, and idus, which means inflammation. So arthritis means joint inflammation. What is a joint? All of you know what a joint is. It's, it's always composed of two or more bones. There's two articulating surfaces that have cartilage on it. There's lots of ligaments around it, lots of muscles around it. This is a knee joint, this is a hip joint. The hip joint is a little bit more, uh, more simple joint, which is a ball and socket joint. And uh, again, the muscles really are around the joint. What is inflammation? Inflammation is one of the body's normal reaction to injury or disease. All of you here who've had a joint replacement done, all know that after you've had your joint replacement done, your knee's hot. And we always get that question, you know, my knee's still warm, is it infected? No, it's not, that's a normal, body reaction to healing. And it's because inflammation is a good thing for healing, but it's not a good thing when you have an arthritic joint. True or false, once the cartilage in a joint has worn away in osteoarthritis, your body will not grow new cartilage. That is true. It will not grow new cartilage. If anybody knows how to grow cartilage, let me know. And we'll, uh, we'll go to Wall Street and be, be wealthy. What is osteoarthritis? Osteoarthritis is the most common type of arthritis. It's seen in many people as they age. It's often more painful in the weight-bearing joint, such as the hip and the knee and the spine. And all joints may be more affected if they are used extensively through work and sports and, so, and such things. This is a hip joint. You can see that the cartilage is covering the ends of the bone is worn away and you start seeing some degeneration of the cartilage. But really when you start having symptoms is when you have the inflammation. And again, the inflammation can be set off by activity or by uh, some uh, accident or tripping or falling or something like that. And it's the inflammation that really hurts. Once the joint is then progressed through the process, you can form bone spurs, which if you heard about, and that's when the joint just feels fuller and you have these bumps and lumps all over us, which is more common in the knee. It, the continued use of the joint then uh, causes pain, which, is then, uh, uh, which restricts your activities. What causes osteoarthritis? Well, as I told you earlier, it's the most ubiquitous condition known to man. Everybody has some degree of arthritis, especially in certain age groups, but we have no clue what causes it. Some feel that it might be an imbalance of enzymes in the joint. Well, we do know that it causes the cartilage to wear away. Then you have bone on bone, and then you, the body's reaction to try to repair that creates these bone spurs and tries to alleviate the symptoms. Who is at risk? Unfortunately, it's anybody that's above 45 years old. Again, women are at a slightly higher risk of getting arthritis than men. There are certain conditions of defective cartilage. Obesity is, again, a risk factor for osteoarthritis and some joint injuries. There are other conditions such as rheumatoid arthritis, which uh, are an autoimmune disease, which causes the degeneration of multiple joints in your body. What are the symptoms? The uh, pain in the joint during or after use. It's discomfort in a joint before or during the change in weather. Some people can tell them there are better barometer or better weather forecasts than the, than the Fox News uh, to tell us when it's going to get bad because their joints ache. There's some swelling and there's some stiffness especially when they use this, and then you have these lumps and bumps. How is arthritis diagnosed? Uh, as everything in medicine, we try to take a good history, and usually after a good history, you pretty much know if somebody has arthritis. Then we do a physical examination, and then x-ray is really the final um, uh, uh, good uh, um, study that can tell us whether you have arthritis. Um, some arthritis, such as gout or pseudogout, can be diagnosed by doing an aspiration and taking some fluid out of your knee and sending it to uh, be evaluated. There's some blood tests that are necessary to make the diagnosis of rheumatoid arthritis.